Could you please hurry up? We've been here for an hour, and we've only played three hands. Every one of which you have lost. <laughs> we didn't lose our folding. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Losing just comes naturally to some people. <laughs> Mama, let's just try and have one night without the two of you bickering, all right? All right. Pick up your hand, loser. <laughs> Lorette, I'm telling you, they're gonna take it the wrong way. Don't be ridiculous. They'll understand. Understand what, honey? Mama, I finally found a way to make a boy fall in love with me. I got very creative. Oh. Just how creative did you get, honey? <laughs> Real creative, Mama. I'm gonna have his baby. Oh. oh, but don't worry. I get extra credit for it at school. <laughs> See? They understood perfectly. <laughs> Michael, say something. Damn, I fold. <laughs> Nobody's got it easy. His life keeps rolling on. There is in the door that trouble don't come knocking upon. No sky is only sunshine. So when those clouds roll by, just keep a big umbrella and a twinkle in your eye. Life may be a bowl of cherries and a love may not cost a cent. But we all have had a taste of sour berries and we all know love won't pay the rent. Nobody's got an easy hot knee. Still we can make it through Nobody's got it easy But I've got it fine With you Oh Raymond, I am so happy For months I've been trying to get Terry to notice me And all I had to do was have his baby Lorette, I don't think that they understood That this is just a social studies project They think you're really pregnant Oh, don't be silly, they're not that stupid all right, who is he? His name's Terry. Isn't that a beautiful name? Oh, Pop, Pop, let, let me explain, let me explain. The only reason Loretta's having a baby is so she can bring up a grade. What kind of school is this anyway? Well, Miss Johnson said if it works out with me, all the girls in my class get to try it. Hi, Lorette. Sorry, I'm late. Mom, Dad, I'd like you to meet Terry. He's the father. Well, well, well. Come here, son. I want to shake your hand. <laughs> well, all right. You, uh, you look, sir. <laughs> Please, sir, I'm just trying to get on the honor roll. Oh, that's it. Oh. Oh, me. It's nice to meet you, too, sir. Daddy, Daddy, leave Terry alone. It wasn't his idea. My teacher made him do it. <laughs> Let me just hazard a guess here. We're not talking about a real baby here, are we, Lorette? Why would you think that? Look, Mama, I had triplets. Aren't they cute? Sally, Jesse, and little Raphael. <laughs> Lorette, how could you do this to your father and me? We thought you were really pregnant. Well, I guess it's time for me to go upstairs and uh, pretend like I'm doing my homework. <laughs> It's gonna be great. I get to spend all weekend with Terry taking care of these eggs as if they were our children. Oh, Mama, I'm bonding with them already. <laughs> Doesn't little Sally look adorable in Barbie swimsuit? Yeah, she's a real piece. You no, know, Raymond, having Terry's children is everything I imagine. You can dress them up and play with them, and they're such good company. Hi, Mommy. Let's go in a party. Get a grip, at their eggs. Raphael's gonna look just like his daddy and grow up to be a lawyer. Yeah, good choice. He can defend him when little Jesse tries to put you in a home. All of my kids are gonna be special. Raphael's gonna be a lawyer, Sally an orthodontist, and Jesse's gonna be a famous rodeo clown. The excellent. The best they'll ever be is a souffle. I told them all about their Uncle Raymond. I only hope that Raphael will be as good a big brother to them as you've been to me. 
Oh, Lorette, you said that about me to a bunch of eggs? <laughs> you know, they are kind of cute. <laughs> Hello, little Raphael. This is your Uncle Raymond. <laughs> Mama, my teacher says you have to sign my checklist. You have to make sure I do it right. Just initial right here where it says I diapered and dressed the children. What about feeding them every three hours? Don't be silly, Mama. Why would I go through all that trouble when Terry isn't even here to watch? <laughs> Sweetheart, let's just try and stretch our imagination just a little bit here. Do you suppose that this project could have something to do with learning about teenage pregnancy? Oh, come on, Mom. That's what TV movies are for. <laughs> Can't you just sign it, please? Raymond, will you please tell your sister this isn't a game? And this, you know, picky went <laughs> all the way home. <laughs> He was cranky. Yeah. <laughs> well, shoot me for caring, all right? <laughs> Lorette, doesn't this project mean anything to you? Of course it does, Mama. If Terry likes having babies with me, maybe he'll ask me out on a date. <laughs> it's my room. No, it's my room. But I have no place to study. You should lighten the hall. <laughs> Nail, the boys are fighting. Then do something, honey. Stop fighting, boys. It's my stuff. Give it to me. No. Michael. Oh, all right. What's going on here? Nate's trying to force me out of my room. Dad said I could have my own room when I was 10. I said that? Yes, you did. <laughs> See, and now I'm 10 and I want you out. <laughs> but I have no place to go. This one's all yours, honey. I've got my hands full with the grandchildren. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be here any minute. He probably stopped to pick up some lunch at the Wiener Schnitzel. It's his favorite restaurant. Of course, after this weekend, it'll be our favorite restaurant. Unless, of course, he's found someone else. That happens to new mothers. The home with their eggs and the husbands are out running around with busty floozies from the Wiener Schnitzel. Oh, Mama, I've lost him. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? You're going to shut up and come back to reality. <laughs> okay, just so tired of holding them all the time. Just be grateful that eggs don't spit up. <laughs> Terry! Is your father here? No, it's okay. Where have you been? I'm sorry, I got stuck in the drive-thru at the Wiener Schnitzel. It's okay. You have the whole evening to make it up to the kids and me. Uh, Lorette, I know we said we would share raising the kids together, but I'm sort of busy today. What do you mean? We're supposed to spend the whole weekend together. Yeah, but I forgot about my swim meet, and it's really important. More important than me and your kids? Hey, it's swimming. <laughs> what about tomorrow? Yeah, I'll try. Try? You'll try? Well, maybe trying isn't good enough. Maybe I deserve a little more after taking care of your little brats all day. You don't care at all, do you? <laughs> about what? Just get out. Just get out. Boy, this is the last time I get you pregnant. <laughs> Oh, Mama, parenthood is not what I expected it to be. Tell me about it. <laughs> Michael, can we please go to bed now? Oh, give me just a few more minutes, honey. I got her this time. <laughs> okay, old lady, I'm calling your bluff. Here's your dollar. 25, 50, 75. That's a Canadian quarter. You have to take it to the bank. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Not in Newfoundland, it isn't. Raina, why are you doing this to me? I'm sound asleep. You want your teacher to know you slept through the 2 a.m. feeding? How's she gonna know? Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. I'm gonna tell her. <laughs> you do that to me? Lorette, I'm their uncle. I can't stand by and watch these children go hungry. Raymond, get a grip. They're eggs. <laughs> Lorette, if you can't take care of eggs, how are you going to take care of my real nieces and nephews someday? It was Terry's turn to take the eggs tonight. It's not fair. I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. <laughs> That's it. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Lorette, you just can't put your children away because you're tired of them. 
Now, if you want me to sign that checklist, you're gonna have to do as it says and feed the babies every three hours. Well, there's no point to it anymore. This project was supposed to make Terry fall in love with me, but Terry doesn't care at all. Lorette, Mrs. Johnson did not assign you this project so that you could get a boyfriend. There's no fear of that now, is there? My life is ruined. You know, maybe those children would have been better off in the refrigerator. <laughs> They're just eggs, honey. I meant our children. <laughs> to stop throwing my stuff out of my room. Just a second, son. Your daddy's about to send your grandmama to the poor house where she belongs. You want in, buddy? It'll cost you a dime. I'll get back to you, Nate. OK, son, what's the problem? Nate is throwing all my clothes out of my room. Why me? How come you don't throw Raymond out? Hey, one at a time. <laughs> tell him, Pop. Tell him it's my room, too. Well, actually, Nate, You I... weren't gonna break my heart, are you, Dad? Well, now that you mention this, son, Oh, I... look, a dime. I could put it in a poor box on Sunday. A dime? You know, Peter, maybe Nate's got a point Dad. there. Dad! <laughs> oh, okay, uh, put your stuff back in your room, and we'll sell this later. Maybe you'd like to hold this for me, Dad. Sure, son. <laughs> okay, old lady, I'm in. Morning, Lorette. Lorette's gone, Mama. In her place, she left an exhausted, world-weary woman with bags under her eyes and bitterness in her heart. Oh, you'll live, honey. Why bother? Nietzsche was right. Life is hopeless. <laughs> Isn't Terry coming over today? Why would he? Look at me. I'm so pale and lifeless. Wouldn't blame him if he did run off with a busty wiener schnitzel girl. <laughs> Honey, come here. Come here. Now, I know this has not been easy for you, but that's sort of the whole point of it, isn't it? Your plans change with kids. Now, if this had been for real, you wouldn't be able to go to college, and didn't you always say you wanted to be a marine biologist? Yeah. That's because it looks so good in a bathing suit. <laughs> now all I want to do is have fun and spend time with Terry. <sighs> I know. There was a time when it was all your daddy and I wanted, too. We were only 18 when we got married, but boy, did we have plans. I had my job at the hospital, and your daddy was going to go to college and open his own business. It was the things that we didn't plan for that changed all that. Like what? Well, I don't like your brother Raymond. Oh, Mama. I could have told you having Raymond was a mistake. <laughs> now, none of you were a mistake. You just came along a little faster than we were prepared for. So do you think I should reconsider becoming a marine biologist? No, no, honey. Those wells are already in enough trouble. <laughs> now, you just sit here and think about what I said, OK? I will, Mama. I shouldn't be so obsessed with the boy. Thank God it's Terry come to save me. <laughs> Carol, what are you doing here? Can I come in? We have to talk about Terry. Carol, that uniform you're wearing, it looks very familiar. Oh, this? Yeah, I get a lot of compliments on it. It's not everyone who can be a wiener schnitzel girl. <laughs> no, this is not happening. <laughs> See, I want to ask Terry out. But first, I wanted to see if you two were, you know, involved. I'm carrying his children. Yeah, but other than that. <laughs> well, we're not going together anything, if that's what you mean. <laughs> Great, that's all I need to know. I gotta get back to the takeout window. Terry usually shows up around 10, and I don't want to miss him. Well, auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Baby, what's wrong? Mama, you got to wash my eggs for me. I have to stop Terry before he gets to the table. No, 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 girl, no, girl. Mm -mm. I'm not watching kids, but I got to have school my own. Oh, but Mama! No, I'm not helping you walk out with your kids, baby. Now, you are on your own. Mm -mm. No, child. Man, those weenie schnitzel girls are built. Shut up and hold these eggs. Wait, what do you want me to do with them? Who cares? 
Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Let me in, later I'm gonna tell Dad. I'm going. I'm leaving. I'm not here. I'm someplace totally different. <laughs> Yes, I am. Now let me in. <laughs> What's going on now? They locked me out of my room. Nathaniel, open the door. How do I know it's you? How do I know it's not Peter just doing an imitation of you? Open it now. Yep, that's you. <laughs> Punish him, Dad. You're grounded forever, idiot. Tell him, Pop. Peter, I want a word with your brother alone. Oh, no. He's going to get away with it again. <laughs> Nathaniel, come over here and sit down. <sighs> Look, son, I know you want a room of your own. Yeah, you promised me. When you were three. Back then, your mother and I thought that by now we would have a place with a room for each of you. <laughs> when your kids are just babies, you think you can give them everything with no problem. Then you find out that life has different ideas. I'm sorry, son, I wanted to be a promise. I really did. I guess it wasn't so much a promise as it was a wish. Will I have my own room someday? Someday. And that's a... a wish. <laughs> Dad, when I become a father like you, will I be able to come up with lame excuses like that? <laughs> you can only hope, son. <laughs> watching that takeout with him for 45 minutes. He never showed up. You're a very sick woman, Lorette, abandoning your children like that. I know. I worried about them the whole time I was out. Raymond, do you really have to tell Mom? Lorette, these are my potential nieces and nephews. I feel a moral obligation to protect them. And if I give you money? I'm sure we could strike a deal. <laughs> okay, where are they? Well, they're right here. Somebody must have moved them. No eggs in here. <laughs> Grandma, have you seen my... Grandma, what is that on your plate? My breakfast. <laughs> but those are... Those are... Eggs! Hey, you want some? <laughs> <laughs> They're not that bad. You just have to pick around these funny clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on in here? Grandma ain't my... She ain't my... <laughs> down just a little bit. Plaster is falling. Mama, I'm never gonna get a day with Terry once he finds out Grandma ate my... She ate my... <laughs> Scream on the inside, honey. <laughs> Hi, Lorette. Look, I'm sorry I left you with the kids like that. From now on, I'm gonna be a good father. Look, I made Raphael's own little baseball glove. <laughs> you may have noticed that Lorette is sort of somewhat loud. You see, there's been a little accident. No, Mama, it's my fault. I have to tell myself. Terry, I, I realized something important. It's like, well, you remember Valerie Bertinelli in that TV movie? Sure, it was a classic. <laughs> it's like she said, if you're not ready to commit 24 hours a day to children, well, see, things can happen. Things you couldn't have foreseen. Things involving frying pans and toast. What are you trying to say? Well, Terry, I'm afraid to say Grandma ate our children. Oh, right, yes, ah! Yes. Hey, why are you acting like this? This is great news, Lorette. This way I get the rest of the day off, and on Monday I get to tell Mrs. Johnson it was all your fault. Uh, ah, thanks, Lorette. I won't forget you for this. Mama, he kissed me. Oh, I want to have his baby. <laughs> Someday. When I'm very, very old. That's my girl. Come on. Excuse me. Can you pass the ketchup, please?
can you eat at a time like this? I'm hungry. Did you get the casket? You couldn't put a little tissue paper inside it? It's just gonna rot, Raymond. Great, some grieving mother. Oh, Raymond, are you still moping over those eggs? Yeah, I know. Maybe it's stupid, but whenever I look at their crushed little shells, I can't help but think. There but for the grace of God go I. Somebody must have poached his brain. Think about it. What if Ma had been as lousy a mother as you? We could be living on the streets right now. No home, no food, no one to take care of us. That's very insightful, son. I know. It's tragedies like this that make a man take a long, hard look at his life. <laughs> Finished? <laughs> yeah. You think you're the only one whose life has changed because of this? I love those eggs. For the first time, I felt like somebody really needed me. Like I was important or something. Is that how you felt, Mama, when we were born? Mm, mostly, I just felt pain. <laughs> But after the screaming subsided, I'd look down this trusting little face and realize I had something pretty special. Then I'd usually faint. Well, I guess we better start the funeral. Raymond. It's nothing elaborate, just a bugle, some drums, a small riderless chicken. <laughs> What's wrong with the composting, huh? Ma, that's a pile of garbage. I know, but they'll be part of the eternal cycle of life. They'll be manure. <laughs> I can live with that. <laughs> if you were... Don't miss Arsenio's year-end party with Bob Saget, the Jamaica Boys, and Kim Coles on the Arsenio Hall Weekend Jam. Tonight at 11.30 on Channel 2.